national title, 20 lap final for Clubman Heavy. They're onto the main straight this time. They look brilliant at this stage as they go. The green light's where we get it, ladies and gentlemen. Right Ike on the outside, 16 moves up into second position. Uh, Missing in 61, holds them at bay as they come up the back straight for the first time. 16 looks to the inside and takes the lead. That's Paul Cooper as they come up the hill. Oh, ha, ha! Misson says, get that into you as he goes around the loop at the top. He's got low end that you would not believe. Coming out of that bottom corner, Misson in 61 says, this is my day, ladies and gentlemen. Go for it with the man Cooper in 16 next. Right Ike in one is the next one through. They come on to the Shane. Colin Bretta is behind him. Then comes Hagen. 94 is the next one through, ladies and gentlemen. That's Sid Maroon. He's made up a considerable amount of distance, and we've got one diving in under breaks down a little bit further, uh, trying to make up some considerable length at this time. 16 gets in front of, of uh, Misson again, and he, oh, now he loses a spot, does Johnny Misson, because Roydike in one now moves up into second spot. He's lotted back into third position as they go across to the far side. They come into pit corner this time, 16 now, the, Lou, uh, the new leader, Paul Cooper, ladies and gentlemen. A cart length further back to our current national title holder, Paul Roydike, as they come down. Misson in 61, putting the pressure on. Colin Brenner in eight in fourth position. They come out of the bottom. In behind him, we've got 94 as they come up along the back straight, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, they continue. Sid Maroon is in the 94 cut. Job. He started well back in the pre final, came through, got a good result in the pre final. He's now converting that in the final as. Missing in the second challenging for first. Yeah, but uh, Paul Cooper, he, he knows how to lead from the front. He's, uh, he's taken the lead, well done to him. And Missing has gotten back past uh, Paul Riding. Who's got that? Then uh, Sid Maroon, Justin Clark, Scott Hardens, Jeff Cooper, and. 96 is Darren Cathy. Well, Darren's been well back all weekend, so he's put in a huge improvement to get up to, I believe, ninth position in uh, in the final. As uh, Johnny Nissen and Paul Cooper, the little tap as they come out of the corner there, but uh, nothing to worry about there. And uh, Cooper leaves Nissen as all. Oh, Maroon had a shot at Colin, but it gets him. And with Justin Clark trying to get around, the out, uh, went for the outside of Colin at that time, doesn't do it. Down inside. Again, he has a look. Can't do it. But so uh, Colin Bitter coming in all sorts of pressure from Justin Clark. Gladiators is the class we're talking about, uh, Eddie. There's no doubt about that. And Godman Heavy is exactly the place where they should be because we've got 16, Paul Cooper, Johnny Misson in 61. National current, uh, the current national title holder of Paul Roddick in third position. A long way further back to the 20, uh, the 94 card of Maroon. Then behind him is eight, that's Colin Brenner. 57 is Justin Clark. The uh, 25 card is the next one through. And of course, that's Scott Hagen. So they go to the bottom once more. No change, but uh, it's uh, Justin Clark in 57 sitting back in sixth position at this stage on the track looking for the mark. Oh, one goes a little bit wide, a little bit further back uh, as uh, the 22 cut loses a half a dozen odd place. That's Gus Van Belsen as they go across to the top. The first three have broken away from the pack at this time, ladies and gentlemen, as the pack starts to try and make it up. Colin Brunner. No, it's not. It's Maroon in 94 as the leader of the pack. In behind him is Colin Brunner in eight. But the first three, and have a look at it. Messon to the inside. Yes! Gets the pass, does Johnny Misson on the man in 16 as they come out of the bottom of the main straight. Oh, this man is pumped up like you wouldn't believe. 16 in second place, Paul Cooper. And our national title holder, current at this stage, is Roy Dyke, and he's back in third place. Maroon now up into fourth position. I think you'll find as they come through the chicane uh, and they go across to the far side. Oh, inside again, a great pass. Colin Brenner has got him. 57, Justin, uh, Justin Clark, and behind them is Scott Hargens in 25. Inside. Right Oak on the outside, though, I think, and Misson probably is going to have the line for the chicane. Yes, he does. Rydike still now back into third place. 
missing back to second as uh, this race, this interest, this intriguing, fabulously intriguing race continues. Just gone back two spots, Sid Maroon and Justin Clark have both got him. Uh, Maroon fourth, Clark fifth, Colin Ritter back to sixth, but uh, Scott Yargan's right behind him. Clark now looking for fourth position on Sid Maroon as uh, they go into the first turn, coming up the reverse straight, and Clark, Maroon covering his line well, Clark sitting in just behind, sizing up, looking for that opportunity as uh, Cooper, he's still leading this, uh, this race from uh, Johnny Nissen and then Paul Ryder. Ryder seems to be sitting just a couple of cart lengths off as Nissen has a little look down at pit corner. Couldn't do it. But so I'd say Ryder's just sizing this, uh, this scrap up and uh, then he'll decide where, where and when is the best place and time to strike. They've got 11 laps left to run, Eddie, as they go down past us once more. And there's no doubt about it, these first three, as we've got uh, young Justin Clark in uh, 57 has moved up in front of the 94 car of Maroon and uh, Colin Brenner in 8 looking to try and battle a little bit at this stage as Scott Hagen's in 25 oh they go up round too wide watch the leaders because we've got a slower cart on the track that has moved in off the field at this time thank you very much and uh, will cause no problems with the uh, the leaders as they come around onto the main straight once more 16 Paul Cooper 61 John Mason and the one card of Paul Roydyke as they go down the, this time to the end of the straight. Jonathan was, uh, was attempting to set up the, uh, the move that brought in the lead earlier, having a shot at the King. He had to pull out that time, but uh, Paul Cooper, who will want to cover that line because he knows Jonathan Mission can get him there, he's done it. So uh, I think Paul might be a slight more defensive for it as Sid Maroon is out at uh, the second. Turn two, the right hand about to head up the hill. He is out and he'll be very disappointed with that. that well done, Sid, as the uh, leaders come back onto the straight once more. And it's still, here goes Missing again, looking for an inside pass, gets it! As this time Rodike follows him through and puts the man in 16 back into third position. Paul Cooper from first to third in about 25 yards as they come out of the end of the main back of the back straight and they work up the hill once more around the loop. Miss it, opens the gap up. Right eye pushes his cart to try and get it to work as he goes across the top. He's about two and a half cart lengths behind Johnny Misson in 61, and he's being hounded at this time by Paul Cooper in 16. They come out onto the main straight. The next one through is Justin Clark. Then comes Colin Brenner. The seven cart is the next one through, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll pick a number up. That looks like Nigel Stones. Yes, it is. They come out of the bottom. Have a look at the three at the front. They've left the rest wanting for something better as they come up into the top corner once more across in front of all you people on that mound over there. What a great race you're watching. What a fabulous race meeting you're experiencing here today at Oakburn Park Raceway here. Just 13 kilometres out on the run, on the Ganada Road from Tamworth. It was almost in identical circumstances last year at the Australian Idols at Paul Rideau picked up his national championship. Three cars, last year was four cars fighting for the lead with only a couple laps to go. This year it's three, but, uh, and Rido up the inside for Nissen, and he does it. He's got the line, and Cooper through as well. So that was Johnny Nissen, first to third, so quickly. How, you, how your fortunes can, can change in the blink of an eye as Rido, two car lengths out. He now has the lead with uh, six laps now to run. And uh, Paul Ryder, he'll be counting down those six laps. He wants to pull out a gap. He wants a comfortable victory. He doesn't want it to go down to the last lap. Like it did in 1994. Nissen has a shot at Cooper. Couldn't do it. Cooper, sitting in behind Ryder. Nigel Stones is now moved in the fourth from uh, Colin Ritter, Clark, uh, Hagen, and Gus Van Belsen, that is. Van Belsen up the inside of Hagen, and... Three off! Justin Clark's gone. The 22 cart's going to take a shortcut across the side there. He'll come back on, but uh, certainly uh, well out of contention. 25, Scott Harkins will have nothing more with the action as it continues on. And we've got 16 back up into the lead at this time with the uh, right eye cart one back into second position. Uh, miss it as the blue flag is waving at this stage, indicating uh, uh, someone's going to get past. Yes, he is, of course. He's a left cart. Uh, indicating for them to uh, continue on. Uh, Justin Belson doing the right thing. Uh, he took a shortcut, 
and uh, got him made up a cup position. He has now got back into what is rightful position, and uh, he has uh, he will now race them for that position for the remainder of the race in six. But uh, it's only Paul Cooper leading from Paul Rido. John Nesson, four laps to go. They go down past my company position once more. 16, Paul Cooper from our current title holder uh, in one, Paul Rydyke. And uh, Messon with a quick look over his left shoulder saying, what am I going to do to get past these two boys in front of me? They run up Rydyke to the outside. Messon with a heap of low-end power as he comes out of that particular corner. Runs up this time. You can still throw a dainty little helicopter. Oh, Rydyke looking for an inside pass on the man in front in 16 at this stage. Unable to pull it off either at this time as they close up these first three as they come onto the straight once more and they will have only three laps left to run before we get the finish. Oh, look at this. Miss it. Looking for an inside. Rydyke went wide, wide, wide. Coming down through the loop. Uh, through the thing down the bottom there. Have a look at the next th batch as uh, the racing continues. And it's great stuff. Nigel Stones in behind him, Colin Brenner. And the 22 cut sitting in there also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is the uh, man who got the big jump earlier in the race, and that's Gus Van Velsen. Cross to the far side. Let's watch him. Let's keep an eye on the three at the front. Very few laps left to run for this one as they run out to the top. This side, 16 is uh, Paul Cooper. Then comes Roy Dyke. Oh, miss it. Certainly going to get A for effort in this particular heat here of the final as they come up this time once more. About two laps left to run, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, they will come past my company position this next time. Two laps. So the leaders, the first three, the uh, Cooper cut, the Misson cut in third position, and Roy Dyke at this time sitting in th uh, second position, the lead in the sandwich of the two that I've just called as they come out of pit corner. They come round the right-hander. The, uh, they come in uh, to the left-hander onto the main straight. And uh, they've got the last lap, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, over to you, Eddie. Well, uh, Johnny Mitchell's really attacking Paul Ryder. And this could well play in the Paul Cooper fans. Uh, there's a, there's a... He's close enough now, but it's the final lap. And, uh, oh, right, I tries an outside. Misson will try and shoot up the get inside. And he gets, did. Gets it. And oh, it's too hard for me. Johnny Misson. That's the rap. This is the national title. Get the track. Two more corners to get Paul Cooper. Misson hit. Fights back. Can't do it. But, uh, no, I believe it's going to be Paul Cooper will be the Australian champion. He is. Yes. Provisional results, ladies and gentlemen, go to... For, for a national title. They didn't, they didn't go into each other, it was just a...